In this video, we introduce the novel concept of inverse Q-learning and several model-based and model-free variants. Current inverse reinforcement learning algorithms typically build upon the popular maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning framework. In its basic form, maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning requires a model of the environment and an inner loop of value estimation. This translates to solving the MDP many times upon convergence. In this work, we introduce a novel class of inverse action value algorithms alleviating these problems by a probabilistic behavior assumption of the external agent, based on the assumption that the expert is following a Boltzmann distribution over its optimal unknown Q values, we formalize an inverse Q update leading to the model-based inverse action value iteration and its sampling-based counterparts, tabular inverse Q learning and deep inverse Q learning. We further combine the frameworks of inverse and constraint Q learning leading to long-term optimal constraint imitation, approaches we call tabular and deep constraint inverse Q learning. We evaluated inverse action value iteration and inverse Q learning on the common object world benchmark and compared to maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning. In this image, you see the corresponding state values under the true reward function for each of the approaches, as well as for the crown truth optimal policy. All approaches were trained on the data set reflecting the true underlying Boltzmann distribution of the MDP. As you can see, by alleviating the problem of solving the MDP multiple times, inverse action value iteration speeds up the training time by multiple orders of magnitude, while being closest to the true optimal policy as we measure by the expected value difference. We apply deep constraint inverse Q learning in the application of transfer imitation learning. Assume a data set of lane changes recorded on US highways. Traffic routes in distinct countries do not necessarily overlap, making it difficult to transfer the learned behavior. We propose to input an accompanying set of traffic routes in terms of constraints so as to learn optimal constraint imitation. In this example, we want to apply the collected data set to learn a traffic rule obeying behavior in Germany. We therefore formalize a keeping right rule referring to respective traffic regulation in Germany where drivers ought to keep right whenever there is a gap larger than 20 seconds under the current velocity. We collected data in the open source simulator Zumo from a fully trained DeepSet Q agent not obeying a keeping right rule as common on US highways. We then implemented said rule as a constraint and measured the constraint violations and speed of the different approaches. As shown in the graph to the left, the deep inverse Q agent in blue is imitating the behavior of the expert in red very well, despite being trained on only 50,000 transitions for 100,000 updates. However, both agents are violating the constraint many times, since both are not trained to do differently. The deep constraint inverse Q agent in green has almost no decrease in speed, whilst having exactly zero constraint violations. The constraint inverse Q learning is propagating constraint violations back in time so as to optimize for long-term constraint imitation. The constraint Q learning agent in yellow, trained in the exact same manner as the agent in green but on the true reward of the MDP, is not capable to match the performance and has a higher demand for transitions and updates. This brings light to the potential of the proposed reward formulation, speeding up the process of reinforcement learning while making handcrafted reward engineering unnecessary. Here we see the expert agent driving in the US highway scenario. Lane change wishes are indicated by blue and red. The agent is maneuvering smoothly and proactively through light and dense traffic. We transferred the behavior of the expert to a German highway scenario. As expected, the unconstrained agent does not obey the keep right rule. Lastly, we present the driving behavior of the deep constraint inverse Q-learning agent. Obeying the traffic rules in every time step, the agent smoothly overtakes surrounding vehicles to stay close to the desired velocity. The results emphasize the high efficiency and the promising potential for real-world applicability of inverse Q-learning. 